Hello crafty cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace. If you're new, I'm Jessica. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I rarely ever make handmade cards anymore, but I am making these to go along with some mini journals that I recently had for sale on my website. And I have this cute little card kit, so I thought it would just be fun to turn the camera on and make some with you guys. Here are a couple that I already made. So this card kit is nice because it comes with the card base. This one's really pretty. And then the little pieces that can go along with it. And you can basically layer everything together. I do wish I had a few more like bases that were bigger, but we're gonna see what we can come up with. I got this kit from Joann's. Oops, there's lots of little pieces. We'll just dump those out. And so this is what it looks like. I'm not sure if this will if if this is still available online or anything. It says that you can make 20 cards. So you can see obviously I already used some to make the ones that I already made. So we'll put those over there. Comes with some stickers, which I would rarely ever think to use stickers, but they actually work great in this little set. And then some like little washi strips. And in fact, I might even grab an extra washi tape just in case. We'll go with that one. Comes with the envelopes. Set those over there. And it comes with little foam dots as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dump out all of the little pieces. There's cute little hearts. Yeah, so I wish it came with bigger like tags and bigger layering pieces. So there's lots of like animals, which I'm not going to use. I'm not super into. I'll save them and use them for something different. Maybe let's see. Is that all? But I do like the butterflies and flowers. This one's kind of cute, actually. May use that. We'll set those aside then. So I do have a couple scraps here too, just in case. All right, so maybe we'll make one of each of the bases. So these are the options. Let's see. There. Okay, I'm gonna start with this one right here. So I'll put all of these to the side. And I don't think that the box really gives you any ideas other than, like I said, they have a couple examples here. So I'm really just kind of layering on my own and then figuring out what I think looks good. Um, I do like to start with like a piece of this washi tape and let's see. I kind of just go for it and start adding. Try to get that on there straight. I think that's pretty good. It's not perfect, but that's okay. We'll cut off the excess since it is a card. And these are blank on the inside as well. So we have that. So this is the next step is always where I feel like I would like to have like a bigger layering item, but again, we'll just go with what we have. There's a cute little frame. I feel like I need to break up the background though. And so I have, like I said, a few scraps. Ooh, actually maybe vellum would be good. Maybe like a strip of vellum. I feel like that's a really good way of kind of doling out the background yeah that will be good i'm gonna get some double-sided tape actually i do like to use double-sided tape for vellum and since we're gonna go across i'm just gonna go ahead and Take the back 
clean off the double-sided tape. And then let's see, I'm just gonna kind of line this up. I don't really want it to be exactly in the center. Cut the excess off. Okay, that's right. We do have big stickers as well. Maybe something like that. Um, I think maybe we'll do the I love you one. I'm trying to make well, trying to make these a little bit more generic, I guess. That might be cute. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna glue this frame down, I think. Or yeah, we'll glue the frame down. And I do like to have a couple elements that are sticking up a bit. Look like I think we'll put the bow like that and then maybe we'll do a butterfly and have that kind of popping up. So I'm going to use some of these little foam dots. I'm out of frame here, just putting the foam dots on. frame here. These are teeny little foam dots so it's kind of hard to get the little backing off. I'll do one more down there just so it doesn't get like kind of folded in. Okay. There we go. I don't always trust these foam dots adhesive so I'm just gonna add a dot of glue on each one. I think I'm just going to put this actually in the center here. I think that would be really cute. These could be cute with a sentiment, but again, I'm trying to keep a more of a generic card. So there's that one. Super fun. Let's do one with a different background. We'll start with this one this time. I'm just going to make a couple of these together. Okay, so let's see. Do I like the washi tape with this one? Yeah. I feel like the washi tape is a good starting point. Ooh, this is a thick one. Um, let's see. I was thinking of going this way. Okay, since this is a little thicker, I think I'm just going to use some of my washi tape. Like that. And then I am gonna cut it so that it has a straight edge. Like that. Then this is where I just kind of play around with little pieces. This floral piece is really pretty and there's some florals down here. So I may go ahead and put that down. Um, So darling, I may use that. Let's see here. The little bows are cute and little hearts are super cute too. Ooh, that could be cute. I like that. And then maybe we'll just pop this sentiment up. Let's just do that. Oh, there's a little yeah once I come up with something that I like I kind of just try to get it down right away and I really have no rhyme or reason when I am layering things onto cards this is a really cute kit though makes it pretty easy okay so then I'm just going to 
add on some of these little dots, foam dots. And I will just put one in each corner. I haven't made cards in such a long time, but when I started my YouTube channel, I was actually very much into making handmade cards. Okay. I'm going to do one more in the middle. I feel like having the doughs evenly dispersed, yeah, helps so that your little piece doesn't get uh, smashed down in any spot. Okay, I think I got all of the backings off. Again, just a quick little dot of glue just to make sure that stays. And this is, you are the absolute best, which I feel like is a pretty generic enough little sentiment. Try to get that on as straight as I can. Super cute. Okay, yeah. Let's go on to the next. We'll do this background and then we'll do the, the last background in just a moment here. So I'm gonna use this washi strip for this and since the flowers are kind of going this way, I think this will work with this print a lot better than the previous. Oh boy. This washi tape is kind of more like a sticker. Um, so it doesn't have as much give as washi tape, but I think that's good because you'll you do want this to stick down. Permanently, since it's on a card, I would say. There's that. Okay. Let's see now. Hmm. These are cute little flag. I do really like the butterflies. We could even do something with just some butterflies. Oh, that could be kind of cute. And then that would be cute, but I don't want to do a thank you sentiment. Um, I guess I could do love you. Thinking of you. Maybe the So Darling. Okay, well, let's just start by gluing these on. I barely have any glue left. I'm going to do these flat. And then I kind of do want to find one little thing to do. Elevated. I guess you could say. Maybe, actually... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. So let me just get some more of these. Just kind of evenly space these around. And maybe I won't do a sentiment for this one. Getting the backings off here. But I do kind of like that layered over the tape. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure. Thinking of you, hmm, no. These little bows are cute, but I was going to say, I think that might be too much, but actually I kind of like it right here. Oh, and the center comes out of these little bows too. Even cuter. Okay. I think we're going to go with that. Oh no, did I do this? Okay. <laughs> I thought I did it upside down. So there's that one. And we're just going to do the last card base that I have. So it's kind of like a marbled. 
of like that combination together or do I want to save this for that? That does look cute. I have some scrap paper here that I was thinking might work good. Yeah, I'm going to do this. If I have enough <laughs> glue. Oops, it's kind of upside down. So I'm going to center that because it's not quite as tall as the card. In fact, maybe I'll do that. And then... And layer on this one as well. So we have that. And again, I'm just kind of looking, seeing what I want to use. I can't decide. I I think I like the little peacock. It might look cute on there. So darling, hmm. I do kind of like that as well. Hmm, a little indecisive, you guys. I'm just not loving it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just looking through the little things that I have here. We have some little hearts and little butterflies. I like this, but I'm not sure what else. So I'm just going to put that down. like bows go well with the cute little sentiment so darling let's see here maybe the pink is just not working let's try we have gold flowers too and blues but I think that's gonna stand out just grabbing off another sticker that has some greenery Actually, I kind of like this peeking out here. Okay. Okay, maybe we'll put this in the corner. I'll cut those edges off. Hmm. This one's really, really getting me. Okay, we're gonna go with that, like that. Yeah, and maybe just no bow. Okay, let's go with that. Okay, all right. Well, these are really fun to make, like I said. Let me know if you have made cards. Um, oh, you know what? I do kind of, I always love butterflies, so maybe that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna add some little dots to it, foam dots. Then I think that I'll be happy with it. Yeah, let me know if you guys have made handmade cards before. This kit definitely makes it kind of easy. I don't love all of the pieces, but kind of gets your inspiration going, I feel. We'll just have this going that way. Yeah. There. Okay, well, that was really fun. So thanks for hanging out, guys. I had fun creating these with you, and I hope that you guys have a lovely day. I'll see you soon. Bye.